All it's spring, like everything's new. She hadn't lied. Despite my suspicions, I couldn't prove she was cheating on my dad. A few days later, the truth came out when a written notice was delivered. It was a traffic ticket for my stepmom's car. She had driven through a red light. She looked at the notice, trying to remember the incident. She was sure she hadn't been in the neighborhood it mentioned. Suddenly, she remembered. My dad had her car that day. His car was being serviced, so he took hers. I looked at the ticket. I was so shocked. It was the day that we were on the museum trip. I immediately looked at my Instagram photos to double check the date. It matched up. My dad had been in that neighborhood, not my stepmom. He was the one who had done the shopping and didn't bring them home. Makeup products, coffee machine, a dress. I was going to lose my mind. Was it my dad who had been cheating all this time? I went to my room to calm down. No way, my dad wouldn't do such a thing. Maybe all that stuff on the back seat were presents for someone. I don't know, maybe the coffee machine was for work. I tried to come up with reasons why my dad wouldn't do this, but I was still suspicious. I had to learn the truth. I secretly got into my dad's social media accounts. I can't tell you how disappointed I was. My dad had been seeing another woman for months. I couldn't stop crying as I read their messages. They were meeting up in her apartment. I had lost my trust for my dad. What's worse is that I found myself in a dilemma. I was really angry when I thought it was my stepmom who was cheating, right? I was going to tell my dad once I gathered some evidence. What was I going to do now? It was my dad who was cheating. It was my dad who was the bad guy, not my stepmom. He may have married her against my will, but he still made a promise to her to be loyal. He was pretending to love her while having an affair with someone else. I didn't know what to do. I was really confused. I thought for days. What was the right thing to do? If I hid the truth, what kind of a life would I have from now on? I had a photo of my mom in my hand, and I cried, thoughts running through my mind. I suddenly remembered something that my mom had told me. People might be hurt when they hear the truth, but it's still their right to know the truth, she had said. I wasn't going to hold it in any longer. I decided to talk to my stepmom. I told her everything, starting from the moment I became suspicious of her. She was really sad when she heard that my dad was cheating on her. She cried and yelled for hours. Finally, she left the house saying she couldn't trust my dad anymore. It was a horrible night. I had destroyed my dad's marriage. I felt guilty even though I believed I had done the right thing. That night, my dad blamed me for betraying him. He stopped speaking to me. We became like strangers living in the same house. Without my stepmom, the house felt totally empty. When she was here, I just wanted her to go, but now I wanted her here. I was also really sad that she had left like that. I know that my dad was trying really hard to make things up with her. But she said that nothing would be the same again and didn't come back home. A while later, they got divorced. For ages, my dad kept blaming me every chance he got. You're the reason my marriage ended, he'd say. One day, he unexpectedly said he wanted to talk to me. He was talking to me in a very calm and low voice. He said it was his fault, not mine, that his marriage had ended. I was shocked. It was the first time I saw him cry since my mom's funeral. I made a mistake. I wasn't honest with my wife, and I paid the price for it. But none of that is your fault. We both know that. You did the right thing. You just told the truth. I'm proud to have a daughter like you, he said, and hugged me. We talked and cried for a while letting everything out. Now we have a much better relationship. We talk about almost everything. I feel happy again after a very long time. You know the weirdest thing? I started seeing my stepmom. It's like my real mom and my dad broke up and I ended up living with my dad. She and I talk a lot. I feel really close to her and tell her everything that's going on in my life. I can tell this makes my dad happy. She can never replace my real mom, but I'm happy to have a really good friend. Thank you so much for listening to me. I don't know if you think I did the right thing. Please share your thoughts in the comments. If you want to write up your experience, you can send it over to the email address in the description box. Bye!